I heard murmurings in the crowd that somebody had fainted or fallen down. As I was pressing too hard and I ran out of breath. He was not with us anymore. He was blue, he was not breathing, and uh, he did not look like he was going to make it. I kept saying he's got a defibrillator, you know, and I've always thought you shouldn't shock somebody because that was my understanding. And um, I found out definitely different. Uh, his wife was there and she said he had a defibrillator in so be careful because it could shock you. And I said, well, we need to do CPR. So that lasted probably a minute to 90 seconds. And then all of a sudden his defibrillator gave him an internal shock and he woke up. He, he had an aortic valve stenosis, narrowing of the aortic valve, and it um, prevented blood from getting to his heart and allowing the defibrillator to really work effectively. So the CPR gave just enough blood to his heart to allow the defibrillator to function. When he walked in up here, I was absolutely thunderstruck um, that I would get to meet a man who saved my life. I looked right at him, right in his eyes, and he was looking right back. And I said, I can never, ever thank you enough and I hope to be able to for the rest of my life.